you give a mangalorean anything in hand and they will make a sukka out of it come along as we prepare mangalore's very own prawn sukka a delightful fusion of coastal flavors and aromatic spices let's start with the masala for the sukka we will start by frying a few ingredients and then blend them into a smooth paste start with around 15 to 20 curry leaves you can add some coconut oil if you wish then add around a quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds around 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds quarter teaspoon carom seeds or ajwain half a teaspoon cumin seeds half a teaspoon black pepper corns fry all of them on a very low flame until they turn aromatic my mother in law is such a seasoned cook that teaspoons and tablespoons don't matter to her she just eyeballs all the ingredients and it ultimately turns out to be perfect fry them all till they change color and then take them off and let them all cool down Next we have around 8 biadagi red chilies and around 4 gundu chilies or amnat chilies. Biadagi chilies are for the vibrant red color and gundu chilies are for the spiciness. You can just use biadagi chilies or kashmiri chilies if you wish. In that case increase the number to 15 to 18 chilies. Add some oil and fry them for a minute or so on a very low heat. They should be crisp after they cool down. We are also adding half a teaspoon of poppy seeds or khaskhas. This is a completely optional step. Fry them for a couple of seconds and then let them cool down. Now to this add 6 to 7 cloves of garlic, one whole onion, a small marble sized piece of tamarind and half a teaspoon turmeric powder. Add as little water as possible and grind it into a smooth paste. Next we are going to fry around 1 cup or 200 grams of freshly grated coconut. Fry them till they change color. Coconut is an integral element of most Mangalorean recipes because of the abundance of coconut in the region. Once it cools down, just blend it for 5 to 7 seconds. Now let's start making the prawn sukka. Take some coconut oil in a kadhai and add quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds. Once it changes color, add one whole onion finely chopped. Fry it for a minute or so or till it turns translucent. After that, add in one whole tomato. If I were cooking, I would ideally let the onions brown a tad bit before adding the tomatoes, but everyone has their own style of cooking. Now let the tomatoes cook for another minute or two. Add some salt to speed up the process. I somehow lost the clip of adding the cleaned prawns. Here we have around 400 grams of prawns after cleaning. Cook them for 1 minute and then add in the masala paste that we had prepared. Give it a nice mix. The term sukka actually comes from Tulu language and means dry or semi-dry. Legend has it that when fishermen were short of water during their sea voyages, they ingeniously discovered sukka as a flavorful solution. Sukka recipes don't require much water. Today, the use of indigenous ingredients like biadagi chilies, coconut, and tamarind continues to be a hallmark of sukka recipes, thus preserving the rich heritage and authenticity of Mangalorean cuisine. Add some water, cover and cook for 6 to 7 minutes or till the prawns are 80% cooked. Keep stirring it occasionally to avoid it from sticking to the bottom. Then add the ground coconut. Give it a nice mix. And cover and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes. Then this Mangalorean masterpiece prawn sukka is ready to be savored. So next time whenever you find yourself a batch of fresh prawns, this prawn sukka recipe deserves a try. Let the coastal flavors of Mangalore grace your kitchen. So do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section about your opinions. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Leave any suggestions in the comment section below.